Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hankster's Hot Rods, and what we have for you today is a beautiful 1968 Chevrolet Camaro. And we're going to do a walk around one and go around the exterior of the car and show you the interior as well. Um, first thing you notice starting here at the front is the paint. Um, it is red. We've got the black racing stripes going up the hood and the trunk, and we'll go over that as we do the walk around. You'll get a nice view of the hood here. Paint is really nice on this car, really shiny, and we'll go over that as well. Um, you also notice on the hood it says it is a cow induction hood first, steel cow induction hood. Um, it says 302 on there, however, it's a 350 Chevrolet, and we'll go over that also. Looking down here, we do have the chrome wheel well moldings at all four corners. We do have the steel rally wheels with the beauty rings and the center caps, whole way around. Coming back, we also we have rally support here on the fender. It does have all the RS um, equipment, which we'll show that as well. Bright work around the windows is in really nice shape. You do have scratching here and there, nicks and here and there, as to be expected, but overall it is in nice shape. Glass, driver's side, windshield, driver's side, side windows here is no chips and cracks. That all looks pretty good there. Coming back, our chrome molding here on the doors, tops of the doors, also really nice shape, but you do have the scratching getting rubbed over the years, but it overall in good shape. Our first gap quarter panel to driver door, pretty even going down. We do have the chrome rocker molding strip as well. You see our body line pretty close on the money there. What we're going to do now is open up the driver's side door, let you see the interior. Door jams are really nice. We do have the houndstooth interior in this car. Floor shifter, four speed, does have the Hurst shifter in it, Muncie transmission. Aftermarket gauges in front of the shifter there. Dash is really nice. Door panels are really nice. Carpet is really nice. And the seats are in really good condition. Of course, the houndstooth, that is the most popular interior on these 60s Camaros. Moving along, one thing I do want to go over for you, I uh, go around any further, is the vinyl top. We do have a black vinyl top on this vehicle, and it is in really good shape. Um, I don't see any tears on this half of the roof here. Holes looks really good. Coming back to the back window here, bright work, again, is in good shape. Back glass, no chips and cracks in that either. Our trunk gap, whole way around, nice and even. And again, you can see the black racing stripes do continue down the trunk as well, up over the wing, and down the back side of the wing. Coming to the back, bumper chrome is really nice. Again, you see the rear valence. We do have the reverse lights in the rear valence per what an RS would have. We do have the RS fuel cap here. Our lenses and bezels are in great shape on the back here as well. Uh, what we're going to do now is open up the trunk and we'll go over everything in there. See under the trunk here, body color. Jam in the trunk here is really nice. Our weather strip seal also looks to be really nice shape. Uh, we do have a spare tire in this vehicle with a jack. You do have the trunk liner here. I'll raise that up here. You can see the floor here. We do have the embossments in it, the indentations. Looks really good. Coming back down here. Do you have to watch your wings? Coming around to this side here, again the paint. As on the trunk there, paint is really nice on this car, really shiny. Coming up to this side of your vinyl top, really good condition. I don't see any holes, tears in the top at all. Passenger side, glass, no chips and cracks. Coming to our first gap, passenger side, quarter panel to door. Nice and even there. Again, there's our chrome moldings on the rocker. Body lines lined right up. Uh, now I'm going to open up the passenger side of the interior so you get a uh, view of the interior from this side. Seats are really nice. Carpet is really nice. Center console is really nice. You've got the wood inlay on that. Dash is in great shape. And the jams on this side as well. Moving along to our second gap passenger side. Fender to door. Pretty even going down. Body lines. Lining right up there. Passenger side windshield, no chips and cracks. Gap on the hood, nice and even. 
as is that side as well. Now you can see the racing stripes, nice view of the racing stripes going up the front of the hood. As I said, that is a steel cow induction hood. The front of the car, bumper chrome, is in really nice shape. Um, you see we have the RS headlights here, RS in the grill here. We do have the hideaway lights, which of course is a very popular option. We do with the black lower air dam there as well. What I'm going to do now is pop the hood here. We'll go over the engine, everything under the hood. Pops very nicely. As I said, steel cow induction hood. Um, underside, the hood here, fire uh, wall, engine compartment is black. Um, we do have, it says 302, we do have a 350 Chevrolet here. We do have the stock GM aluminum intake. We do have exhaust headers here. Um, aluminum radiator, of course, a lot better for cooling. We have manual steering, power brakes. Very nice little package here. It moves this car very well. Uh, what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to put this car up in the air, show you the undercarriage and everything under there. Hey guys, we got our 68 Camaro up in the air. We're going to go through the undercarriage as we normally do. And as we normally do, we're going to start at the front. Um, control arms, it could be a stock style. Um, we got some KYB shocks on the front of this. Um, we got some disc brakes on the front, drum brakes on the back. Uh, these are 15 inch steel rally wheels, all the way around, as I've already said there. Um, do a sway bar on the front of this. Our greasables. All look good, been greased and done well taken care of. Um, our front cross member here, nice and solid, I don't see any holes in that. Um, our oil pan here on our 350 Chevrolet. Seal nice and dries with our rear main seal, our side case seal, back end case seal, and our outfit seal on our M21 Muncie 4 speed. Looks really good, no leaks there, nice and dry. Um, we do have long tube headers on this vehicle. We have a dual exhaust, long tube headers. Pipes go back into dual Flowmaster mufflers back there, and we'll see that as we go back. Uh, our front frame sections here look really good. Those both look really good. As you will see, also see our e brake cables here coming back and going back to both wheels. Um, our transmission cross member looks really good, no holes or anything there. Coming back, our dual exhaust, as I've said, coming straight back. We've got uh, Flowmaster mufflers here, goes up over the axle and out the back on either side of the leaf springs back there. Um, our floors, got our drains here, here. Fluid looks really good to this point. Drain there, there. Again, floors look really good there. Coming back. Input seal looks really good. Our rear differential cover seal looks really good. Nice and dry on both of those. Coming back here, we do some sealer around the floor right here, both sides. We got leaf spring suspension on the back of this vehicle with conventional style shocks. We do have, as you can see, traction bars on both sides. Coming back here, our spring mounts on the front here look really good. We do have some sealing and patching around the bolts right here in this area. Coming back. The rest of our frame section here, that looks good. That looks good. Our rear spring mounts look good there. Um, like I said, we got the traction bars on the back. This is the uh, 10 volt rear. Drum brakes on the back. Our fuel tank straps. Those both look newer. Definitely fairly new. Not much rust or anything on those. They both look really good. Our tank itself, as you can see, nice and silver. Uh, that, very good shape. Uh, probably not that old. Our exhaust, 
This comes out right here, both sides of the leaf springs. Conventional style shocks on the back, those that were nice and yellow, they were fairly new as well. Our floor above the differential does look good there. Um, that's about it there. Like I said, the Flowmaster mufflers and what we're going to do now, lower it down, start the edge up to here, run.